anyhow we are live and uh, this is dr j at asked gynecologist and uh, tonight is a discussion about uh, follicular stimulating hormone so we are live simultaneously on youtube we are live on instagram and we are also live on facebook and once again you know me my name is dr lala day at ask the gynecologist and we'll be talking about follicular stimulating hormone tonight flora perfumery how are you and thank you so much flora for joining us in the morning while i, while I was in the car ejman 9695 tracy davids thank you ladies god bless your cure world Lise. thank you so much and we are live on facebook once again my name is dr lala day and i want to talk about follicular stimulating hormone tonight the importance so if you are watching me on youtube welcome once again i hope youtube is very clear and you can hear my voice loud and clear for me sunday beauty chin and here on facebook good evening so this morning i was taking an open 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 session we talked about many things uh, we talked about very uh, follicular cyst we talked about fibroid Good evening. Amala Umosu Ilunu. Tulu Lope, Ade Bamiro. How are you, Tulu Lope? Wonderful lady. It's a pleasure to host you tonight. Once again, Tulu Lope. Sugar, Sophia, Ray, Sally, Jatao, D, Ayana, and uh, C. Puiska for the six. Ayodele, Lola. I hope my audio is good. If it's not good, let me know so I can speak up loud. I can come closer to the camera. Uh, Emerald, Chinwe. Sibu Situ Busayo Ajunwa Umwanye Ayodele Lola and um, so this morning when I was talking I made it clear that when you consider treatment for fibroids you need to consider the size the number the location your plan in terms of getting pregnant in future uh, we have to discuss also uh, about um, uh, the symptoms that is causing for you. So we talked about this in the morning. I also talked about ovarian cysts as well. We talked about different kind of ovarian cysts. If you missed that lecture in the morning, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock Nigerian time, watch that program again. You will learn a lot. Scott Unyin. If you are chowling that, okay, Chuku, how are you, Ngozi? J1 Ultimate. I just love that J name. J1 the Ultimate. That name just resonates in me so much. Adebu Sola Falao Adebu Sola Great Lucky John Abyss If you are Cholinda Okay Chuku GB Bespoke Adalbi Namani Linda Kogye Udemba Thank you ladies for your love for your show of love and your show of support all the time we come up live I don't take any of your love or your support for granted at all Mark Indeed Tommy Sinolu Oriowo all the way from Ibad on Nigeria uh i don't take messy sexy good evening also messy sexy on instagram kayauta dampulo abi edit i don't take any of your mess any of your presence or your love for granted at all i respect it and i value it so much i remember when i was on my way back to uk two weeks two and a, a week and a half ago i was at the mutala international airport lagos i was very hungry that night uh, that night it was so hot in nigeria so uh, uh, my plane was delayed. My Air France plane was delayed. Uh, I was supposed to go through Air France via Charles de Gaulle in Paris to connect to uh, uh, UK via Dublin. So for some reason, the flight was canceled, was delayed, and it was delayed for about an hour, an hour and a half or so. So I had time to catch. I've not had time to, for over that week I was in Nigeria to catch up on my inventory regarding uh, my small, small businesses. So I sat, I sat down. But very hungry, so I got some KFC, you know, very fast food at this uh, KFC at the Mutala International Airport. Uh, I would have stayed at the uh, Povidos Bank Lounge, but for some reason, I didn't go there. Anyway, I was sitting down at that KFC. I was eating. I was working on some project on, on, on my job. I'm always carrying a book anyway. And as I was eating, I looked up through the uh, glass, uh, uh, glass panel, and the lady waved at me, doctor. As in, uh, you know, I was amazed, and it's a, it's a show of love. And uh, I still remember when I was coming to Lagos, uh, the week before then, that was about two weeks, two and a half weeks ago. As I was in the queue, you no, know, I was in the at the back of the plane. As, as I was in the queue, trying to come off of the plane to get stand at the customs, somebody came with me. One lovely tall gentleman. Are you by any chance called Alala Day anything? I said yes, I'm Alala Day. 
say, wow, my wife will not believe that I met you today at the airport. It's a pleasure meeting you. You're doing amazing things, talking about the gynecological stuff all the time. It's amazing to meet you. I was happy. I was glad. And then when I was trying to carry my bags on the carousel, a lady came to meet me as well. Fortunately, that lady was sitting behind me in the plane. I saw her, but I just met my, my own business, you know. I love, love reading books on stocks. So I was reading the books on stocks while I was on the plane. Anyway, this lady spoke to me with her husband. I think I know you, doctor. The doctor I mean, yes, ma'am. I saw her on the plane. You're, you're just sitting behind me. Oh, so I got her number. I greeted her husband and we you know, separated and went on our ways. Lovely time. What I'm going to say is that the things we say here on ATG, it goes far. And it's changing lives. And I'm so happy to be used by God to be an instrument of change, an instrument of spreading the knowledge around. The things we share here consistently, people pay exorbitant money for consistently. And they don't even get half of, of the value. These things we speak about, these things we speak about freely here on ATG. So if at all you say, hey, why are they charging on ATG? Look, my sister. If you sit down at ATG and watch all our videos, in fact, you won't need to pay for anything at all. You'll be a doctor where you are. By being a member of ATG, basically, you are even going to medical school for free. Trust me. When you sit down with doctors, you speak to your doctor at the clinics, they wonder who you've been with. They wonder, how do you know so much? Just by being a, by being a member here, listening to things we say, watching our videos, allowing those things to permeate into your mind, you will know a lot about the form, the way the body of a woman functions and the way it should function and the way it might go wrong when it's not functioning well. Members on ATG will know about ovarian cyst in and out, about fiber in and out, about yeast infection in and out. I can hold my heart and with pride and say that our members on ATG can discuss Anything regarding ovarian cyst, fibroid, endometriosis, IVF itself. And they know where to get information they need. Okay? Even if you are new here today, by the time you spend just three weeks here alone, you'll be able to navigate around our platform and get the best of knowledge and sift through and get what you need to make you a better person. That is standard. And there is, by the grace of God, there is no other platform. Now, today, I believe by the grace of God, there will be more and more groups like ATG that will form at some point. Because my joy will be that there should be and there will be better groups that will develop, that will take root from this idea that we share on ATG. See, knowledge is not monopolized. Knowledge is not secret. Knowledge is not exclusive there will be newer groups and they will do wonderful things and I'm, I'm happy that ATG is a trailblazer ATG is a forerunner and by the grace of God the knowledge and the things we share on ATG will shine forth across the globe and will live beyond we are gone when we started ATG we never planned that we have our own laboratory we never even planned to have an IVF center it was just a thought uh, at some point, mid last year, is it, no, 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 um, mid two thousand and uh, you know, what year is it? Twenty two. So, so, so year twenty twenty was around that time. I just had a thought. I told my wife, "Why don't we have our own IVF center?" I'm like, "It's expensive. How can we can we do that?" She said, "My husband, you can do it. You can do it." And that's how we started. Maga Jones, how are you? Uh, thank you so much for joining us on YouTube. So, having said all this, let us go to the topic of today. The topic of today is follicular stimulating hormone. People ask that question, what is follicular stimulating hormone? That hormone is so precious from your, in your body. That hormone is produced by a small organ in your brain. And that organ is called the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland in the brain has two sections. One in the front called anterior pituitary, and obviously one at the back. Same, like you have a agbalumo, you know, that's your agbalumo, or like a cashew fruit. Imagine you have a cashew fruit and you divide it into two. The front part is a bit bigger than the one at the back. So it's called pituitary gland, and it's very tiny, like a bean shaped structure, as small as a bean, a seed of bean. It's called pituitary gland. 
it has two portions, anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary. The posterior pituitary gland produces two special hormones. One hormone is called oxytocin that makes your womb contract as a woman. I don't know whether men produce oxytocin anyway, and I'm sure men will do, but in very little quantity. And there's an, another hormone produced by the posterior pituitary gland called antidiuretic hormone, ADH, that controls how you pee and how much you pee. Okay, that hormone can be malfunction and cause people to have a disease called diabetes insipidus, not mellitus. Diabetes insipidus is when you produce lots of urine. Okay, now diabetes mellitus, when you produce lots, lots of urine but lots of sugar in your urine. So there are two diabetes diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. Okay, when you have abnormality of the ADH hormone, antidiuretic hormone, it causes di diabetes insipidus. Now leave that aside. Let's now focus on the anterior pituitary gland. This gland produces many hormones, and one of the hormones it produce, produces is the FSH hormone. The FSH hormone is called follicular stimulating hormone. Follicular stimulating hormone. This hormone produced in your brain, in the pituitary gland, goes into your bloodstream and goes to its target organ. And the target organ is the ovary. It tells the ovary, release estrogenic, release progesterone, so that the person can ovulate and the womb can be ready to produce to produce cells so that the womb can be receptive to fertilized eggs now unfortunately unfortunately this hormone that is produced fsh that goes to the womb uh, over to produce estrogen and progesterone progesterone estrogen especially are very important and the way you ovulate unfortunately this estrogen is important in getting your womb ready to implant eggs it's important in forming fibroid or feeding fibroid it's important as well in causing endometriosis. So, you know, this hormone does many things. Amongst this is to make, your, make you ovulate, make your womb get ready to receive a fertilized eggs. Now, pretty peace. How are you? Good evening on YouTube. Now, this hormone produced in your brain, if it goes to your ovary and it tells your ovary to produce estrogen and progesterone, and the, the ovary is not producing these two estrogen and progesterone the hormone will be higher because it's not getting response it's called what we call feedback mechanism in the hormonal pathway the hormone fsh goes over produce estrogen produce, produce progesterone they will say i can't produce the brain will send more fsh produce estrogen produce progesterone they always say i can't produce the brain will send more fsh fire go and walk again it's like you're trying to push a car in your streets in Suhu Lere. You are trying to yose, you know, trying to you know shift gears. One person is pushing the car, it's not moving. You call Babasikara, you two people pushing the car. You call Badabinga, you call Badasikuru, you call Badalakbaja, and now four people are pushing the car. The car is not starting. You get Mr. Badalukuman, that one's pushing too, making five people, and the car is not moving. After a while, you give up. That's the same way the over behaves. You try to set the ovary to work to produce hormone. The ovary is not responding. You add more and more FSH, no response. At that point, you give up. You now say this ovary is not responding. It's called premature ovarian failure or menopause. Pretty peace. If you want to contact me, you have to go through the premium services. Can somebody help me give pretty peace our link to join the premium services on YouTube, please? So once you have FSH very, very high in your bloodstream above 30 and it's consistently above 30 and you repeat it again six weeks apart and it's still above 30 40 50 60 my sister there's a judgment call that is saying your fsh hormone should always be less than 10. once it's above 15 above 16 start watching it once you get above 30 it's saying that i can't overlate anymore you need to check your FSH. You want to get married? There are some things you must do. There are some tests you must do. Genotype, blood group, FSH, LH hormone, check chlamydia swab, gonorrhea swab, check HIV, man and woman. For the man, check their sperm count. Don't go, see, marriage is a black market. I know I agree, but don't walk into any marriage. I'm sorry, I'm a doctor. So forgive if I'm saying something wrong. You don't walk into any marriage until you've done your genotype, both of you. HIV, chlamydia status, gonorrhea status. Your genotype, blood group. Very, in fact, genotype, very vital. 
sperm analysis for the man, the woman, check FSA, check LH, and she's ovulating. If both of you intend to have children afterwards, okay? I'm not God, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying the fact that if you intend to have children in the future together, do these things. Scan, check that there's ovary there, there's womb there. Okay? But if you don't intend to have children, then you can forget it. But if you want to have children, then focus on these things. Love is there, good, but check them as well. But I'm not saying that love is not important. Love is important, but check these things too. Okay? Once FSH is above 30, on two occasions apart, minimum six weeks, you do it today, it's above 30, above 40, you repeat it in six weeks again, it's still above 40, above 30, six weeks apart, it means that you're not ovulating anymore. And that can happen at any age. You, so you can, so I've seen some, some people, they are 50, they are still ovulating. FSH is still less than 10. I've seen people, they are just 45, their FSH is 60, they're not ovulating anymore. It can be genetic, it can be cultural, I don't know. Maybe it's diet, I don't know. Maybe it's lifestyle, I don't know. Maybe it's just that it is. I've seen two sisters. One sister, she's 45, she's already in menopause. No ovulating anymore. I've seen another sister, that same family, that same mother, brother, brother and mother, the one other girl, she's 50. And she's still ovulating. She's still firing on all cylinders. So we're all different. Okay? We all come with different package. That is why it's essential that you listen to this topic now. If your FSH is more than 30, okay, you're not ovulating anymore. Now, I'm a doctor. There's nothing God cannot do. Okay? But I will tell you what I know as a physician. I will tell you what I know as a reproductive expert. I will tell you what I know as a gynecologist. Okay? Now, God can change anything. I agree. But if I see such results from you, it's above 30, above 35, above 40, even 80, you're probably not ovulating anymore. And there's nothing can be done, medically speaking. Now, once you're not ovulating anymore, nobody can reverse it. I can't change somebody's age. Nobody. Nobody can change your age. But if you are still ovulating, and you're lucky to be ovulating around 40, 45, it's very important that you plan to get pregnant as soon as possible. And it's also important that you preserve the quality of the eggs you have by regularly exercising, balanced diet, ensuring that you pay focus on what you eat, your lifestyle, alcohol, stop, smoking, stop, shisha, stop. Eat and regularly exercise. Lower your weight. Optimize your BMI. Let your BMI be less than 25. Okay? A regular exercise. Those things will make your ovaries produce quality eggs. But once you stop ovulating, you can't change it back. Why will somebody stop ovulating very early? We don't know in most cases. Some people is just genetic. Some people is just constitutional. Some people is their lifestyle. Some people, they are going through treatments. Maybe they are taking treatments for HIV treatment, God forbid. Maybe they're taking treatments for chemotherapy, for cancer. Those things will damage the ovary. Those things will exhaust the ovarian reserve. So it could be that you're taking treatments for a uh, whoop right problem. You're taking treatments for any other medical problems that they are affecting your ovarian reserve. They will deplete them. If you're taking such treatments, it's high time you speak to your doctor and ensure you plan for your pregnancy in case these medications will deplete or affect or decrease your ovarian reserve so that you can freeze your eggs if you need to or so you can get pregnant as soon as possible if you need to or you can plan for IVF if that's the next thing to do okay but once your FSA crosses that border 30 you are going through that territory of no return now there's nothing God can do there's nothing God can reserve there's nothing God can reverse that is true I'm not a pastor yet, okay? But I'll tell you what I know scientifically. I'll tell you what I know medically. I'll tell you what I know gynecologically that that is the situation. Now, my sister, my brothers, I'm not saying that is the end of the world. I'm not saying that nothing can be done. If this is your situation, if this is your story, there are options available. Yes, it's true. Bukola, how are you? Ade Kola, Ade Kola, Joe Ohe, Vivian Dico Briggs, Gloria Wako Konji, Chinwe Chuku, Chin is how are you, my sister? And if you're watching me on YouTube, welcome once again. My name is Dr. J. If this is your first time joining my discussion, my live show, 
I appreciate you. We are talking about gynecological things here and how you can know more about the way the, what, the, way the body of a woman functions. Oshun Lano, Anandua Paul Dunamis, Vivian Dico Briggs, Bukola, how are you in this kitchen? Now, um, as, I, as I was saying, if this is your situation, if this is your story, there are options available like IVF, egg donor. Yes, there are options available. I know some people will not want to hear egg donor. Uh, Adesanu, Debola, how are you, my sister? God bless you. Beautiful sister, God bless you. Uh, Lisa Strong, how are you? And Chine Yenya Wesema, thank you so much for uh, walking there. I can see your fingerprint. Sweet Limsy, thank you. See, I know some people will be not uh, welcoming the idea of egg donor in IVF. Yeah, I agree. Everybody can agree with everybody. No, there's always different, different opinion. But if you've gone through menopause, if you've gone through premature menopause, premature or menopause as expected, and you still want to have a child, you have to start considering egg donor. In fact, once you cross for the 40, the chances of using your own eggs to get you pregnant drops dramatically. IVF and sperm donor can work. IVF egg donor can work. It's true. Now, um, there's a question here from Tommy Singh Oyewo. Someone should answer Maureen, please. Well, I can't see that question. <laughs> FSH above 30 can sort get pregnant with IVF. Yes, easy dicey. They can get pregnant through IVF, but they will definitely, very likely need egg donor. Okay. Good evening, are they doing Buhari? Fit the Raymond. Oyewo, back in the can you possibly post the question from uh, Maureen? Thank you. Um, what about you if you have a healthy wounds? Look at that now. Now, now, even if you have LT wounds, if your tubes are not blocked, your husband's sperm count is good. Once FSH is more than 30, on two occasions apart, and those two occasions are a minimum of six weeks apart, you're probably not ovulating anymore. You can't get pregnant yourself, except God intervenes, or we consider IVF. That's your next truth. Lady Wooks, Mickey, how are you today? Uh, we are Oh, yeah, well, uh, somebody needs a precedent needs a precedent in UK. If you need precedent in UK, you can use Amazon. But if you need cyclotest in UK, Dublin, America, Canada, you can contact our shipping agent. There's a number on the screen, telegram number. The agent will sort it out. Prolactin 24 does it bring milky discharge? Prolactin 24 is getting high. Prolactin above 21 is too high. 24 is too high. Above 30 is too much. So check it again, and if it's still persistently high, get it treated. For you so like the way, how are you, Lara and John and George? My sister, how are you? Long time no see. How are you doing? She's my wonderful sister from God knows when. FSA 25, getting pregnant naturally, 25 is still okay. But I also just check it again in four weeks, six weeks time to see if it's still like that, okay? But if it's still, it's still high, is it more than 35, more than 30, you might need IVF. Even LH2. Once your LH is more than 30, it's not a good sign. Once I start seeing LH more than 20, self, I start getting worried or getting concerned. Sorry. LH more than 20 is not a good sign. FSH more than 30, bad. Okay. You're pregnant. Yes. If you're pregnant, you're in UK, you're in America, you've had, you've had still birth before, you're bleeding in pregnancy, you can't get cycle with this. There's a shipping agent that can help you get it across to you. Contact us. There's a telegram number on the screen. They will sort it out for you. It's not ATG. It's a, it's a different company. Doctor, fluid, you know, loss of fluid. If you have loss of fluid around your baby in pregnancy, you need to check and get checked out whether you have diabetes in pregnancy or whether there's any other thing wrong with the baby. Okay? Igwe, Lilian, and EHE. Sometimes people could have infection in pregnancy that can make the fluid to be excessively plenty. But in most cases, Excessive fluid, sorry, does not pose a problem, okay? But just get checked out for diabetes, essentially. Get checked out for diabetes and showing there's no diabetes during your pregnancy. Taiwo, how are you? Ukaya Razak, Abdul Razak. How are you, Ukaya Abdul Razak? Chinenye, Anya Wezema. Taiwo, Akibe, how are you, my sister? Obviously, you know that we're planning to talk about IVF this month. This month, we're talking about IVF at our seminar, April 2nd. If you're planning to go for IVF journey and you want to ask questions about IVF, just join that group. 
It's going to be an extensive discussion, and I'm bringing Dr. Chioma, my assistant doctor, to discuss about IVF on that day together. FSH, it can be done by a blood test, and it must be done within day two to five of your cycle. So once you see your bleeding, okay, period, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, start counting. Once you see your period, start, that's day one. You get to day two, you can do your FSH test anytime. You can choose day two, you can choose day three, or day four, day five of your cycle, and do your FSH at any time amongst those days. Day two, three, four, five. Get, get it done. Please, doctor, you saw your period on the 7th of last month. You've not seen it this month. Anything to worry about? It's okay, Ari. Do a test of pregnancy quick and then know what's going on. Is it normal to have a 25 day cycle? Yes, it's okay. It's okay as far as it is regular. If it's a regular cycle, it's fine. Okay? Let me check if we have any question here on YouTube. On YouTube here, so if Lady Cup with the piece, she wants to chat with me directly or no. So you can join our pre-on services. Give Gibson, Polacrine is 10. That is okay. FSH 5.9, that is normal. That's normal. Uh, yeah, that's normal. That's normal. Okay? Good. Doctor, what can cause stromogangla stromo glandular dissociation? My sister, that is too much for people here on ATG. Okay? You see, in ATG here, people are very simple, very basic. When you put stromo Glad that association, people get confused and people be afraid. I know you know a lot of signs, but what you're seeing is probably you're looking at a cervical smear result and the story that there is promo glandular dissociation. Maybe some cells are not well aligned. And what you need to do, what you need to do is you repeat your cervical smear again about six months down the line, okay? And sometimes I'll suggest follow your corposcopist. Maybe they'll need to do a biopsy to check. That there's nothing other than that to be found. So get to see your corposcopic. That's your gynecologist. They can may need to do a cervical biopsy to see what is causing something. And they might even need to do a deep down biopsy to know what is causing this. So what will cause from a glandular dissociation? Sometimes you have a, a previous infection of herpes. They can cause such things. Okay, right. Is it normal for a fetus to do more rolling than that? Is it? Yes. There's nothing wrong in baby moving. No baby will move for 24 hours. They will rest. It's designed that way. Even when they are born, they don't move all the time. They will sleep, play, sleep, play, sleep, play. Even in the womb, they will sleep, play, sleep, play. They can't move all the time. Nobody runs around the race track 24 hours. You must rest. Uh -huh. So there's no... So prolactin 64 is too high. It must be treated with bubocryptin or dostinex or any other thing like that to bring it down. Period... 27, 28 day is normal. It's perfectly okay. MK Esther Huimbe, how are you? Talk more on FSH and LH. I've already talked about it, doctor. I've been talking about it since morning. FSH and LH. So watch the video from beginning again. You catch more information about it. Okay, FE Okoye, thank you so much. Now, let's open the floor for questions now. There's a question here on YouTube. Vivian Oibo Ahumuda. What's the solution to a block tube? Okay. If your tubes are blocked, one solution is to try to do what we call idotubation to see if you can force the tube blockage open. But it only works only 4 out of 100, 4%. So it is a low rate of success there. If your tubes are blocked, to be honest with you, you need to find a way of getting the eggs that is released to bypass the tube and get into your tummy, into your womb cavity. And that will be to bypass the tubes, that would be IVF to be honest. If the tubes are blocked, start thinking of IVF. Do you people do your life clinic? So get yes, at the ATG IVF Center, we have a clinic there. We also have a surrogate service. But the surrogate service we have is an attached agent service. We don't have a surrogate, we don't run surrogacy. Okay, we have people that uh, an agency that we, we, you contact on that we can give you the number for you to contact and they will assist you. Okay. What happens when LH is low, FSH normal? Nothing is wrong. That means you're ovulating. Good. Your period is 36 days. It's too long. Get all your hormonal profile checked out. LH, FSH, and so on and so forth. LH, FSH, prolactin, testosterone, estrogen. Get it checked out. Okay? We are in Lagos. Yes. Salamatu Semiu, what's your question? Thank you, Patricia, David Ekeng. Bisola, 
Bisola Ifaya, then Bams, Esther Wimbe. Your old one is done semen test. Result says it's good. Uh, hold on, let me read this question. Oh, it's gone. Jeez, 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 jeez. If our IVF is failed, what's the next step? Consider doing hysteroscopy and sit down with your doctor to know why the IVF failed. Was it because of the hair quality, sperm quality, or the embryo quality, or the womb itself? Okay, sit down with the doctors, let, us, let them know why it failed. You may need to do a stereoscopy to check your womb cavity. Okay, Salamatu, what's your question? Fate, Ogu, Salamatu, what's your question? Maybe I missed it because I'm, I'm watching three screens here on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook. So I can't catch everything. So slow down. So what's your question? Your, please, what causes clotted blood during period? It's probably uh, your, your, you have a fibroid there. Maybe it's fibroid. Baladi 234, Gaga 571, Bisola Fakia. Salamatu, you had a fibroid for about three years ago. It's not been, you know, seen your period. What can you do? You have, okay, you have your fibroid removed three years ago. Good. And you've not seen your period. First thing you should do, do a scan. Number one. Number two, I'll suggest you do a stereoscopy. To have a camera to look into your womb cavity. Hysteroscopy is not ultrasound scan. So don't get it wrong. Hysteroscopy is to look into your womb cavity with a camera, direct vision. So that we can see if there's any scar tissue blocking exit of the period from your previous operation. Hysteroscopy. Ultrasound scan, hysteroscopy. Must done. And then check your monarch profile to see if you're still ovulating. A monarch profile you should do should include your prolactin. FSH, LH hormone, and progesterone to see if you're still ovulating. Do those ones first, and we'll take it from there. Prolactin 20, borderline okay. But just to check it again in four weeks' time to see if it's coming down, it's going higher, okay? Your period, February 7, your progesterone for three months, low progesterone was detected, then you should give you some progesterone tablets to boost your progesterone, okay? Endometriosis, what causes it? We don't know what causes endometriosis, but we know that endometriosis is when you find the layers of your womb that should normally bleed out every month for some reason they move out and they go and go and implant on your ovaries on your tummy on your, on, your, on your intestine and they cause pain during your period we don't know why those cells go out of the womb and go and implant elsewhere nobody knows but that's what we find you have a failed ivf what should you do sit down with your doctors and try they can go through and go through all this ivf steps to see where it might have failed is it drugs is it the sperm? Is it the egg? Is it the embryo? Is it the transfer technique? Is it there was fluid in your tummy? There was fluid in your womb? There was an infection? What could have gone wrong? Check everything. Okay? And then we'll find out what can be changed. Okay? Or maybe it's the quality of the egg. So all these things will be explored. And then we'll take it from there. Chile, you have already... Uh, Salamato, I already answered your question. What causes menstruation to smell sometimes? is likely to be infection. Tinaza on Webu, how are you? What are prenatal vitamins for PCOS? If you have PCOS, not a case of okay. Prenatal vitamins for PCOS is the same thing for everybody. Prenatal vitamin for PCOS is the same vitamin for everybody. Pregnant care. Pregnant care. Obu Matthew, how are you? You're ovulating. You said you've been operated upon. You have fiber. Yes, Salamatu. You had fiber operation three years ago. You're not having period anymore for those three years. So you need to do ultrasound scan. I'm the doctor here, please. And you need to have a stereoscopy done to look into your womb cavity to see if there was scar tissue formed in your womb cavity that is stopping the period from coming out as it was supposed to. So you need to have a stereoscopy. And I said again, Satanamatu, that a stereoscopy is not ultrasound scan because most people will listen to me, they will think a stereoscopy is ultrasound scan. It is not. A stereoscopy is a camera test we put in your womb cavity to look into your womb and if there's scar tissue there blocking your message from coming out, we clear out the scar tissue. FSH 25 is too high. I suggest you repeat your FSH six weeks down the line. Repeat the FSH, MRI chain way, six weeks down the line to see if it's still 25 or more or less. Okay? Prolactin is okay for you. Good. Chances, uh, if I know your chances, MRI chain way, you need to repeat your FSH six weeks from now. We, we yeah, listen strong. We have a cryo tank. We have two cryo tanks to freeze the eggs 
and to freeze the sperm. Yes, we have a sperm bank. And if you need sperm donors, well, we have ample uh, depository where we can call people to produce fresh sperm for you that we've screened and that they are safe. What causes pain during ovulation? It is normal. Pain can happen during ovulation. We call it mid-cycle pain or mid Michelle smears. It's one of the things that some people go through. Not everybody has pain during ovulation, but some people, most people will feel discomfort. Progesterone 1.4 is quite low. Your progesterone gift, Gibson, should be done day 21 of your cycle. If it's done day 21 of your cycle, as 1.4 is quite low, you should be on progesterone supplements. Thank you. Thank you so much in this kitchen. God bless you. Thank you so much for your encouragement. Thank you in, in, in this kitchen for your support and your uh, boost. Thank you so much. FSH should be less than 18. Should be, le should be less than 10. I suggest FSH should be less than 10. Okay? Good. Taiwo Awolu, watch my videos on ovulation. Okay? And I'll talk, watch our videos. About cyclage, I'll talk about it some other time. I'll talk about cervical cyclage some other time. Okay? I'll talk about cervical cyclage some other time. If you have beer beer like a man and a woman, get checked for polycystic ovarian syndrome. Because you might be having polycystic ovarian syndrome. But some people, some people, some cultures, some cultures, some races, they have, if their women have beer beer, okay? That doesn't mean they have PCOS. But if you are in a culture where you don't have uh, BABA -BA and you have BABA -BA as a woman, get checked out for the polycystic ovarian syndrome. Mary is Osage or Basuki. I'm back in UK. I'm back in UK. You have no period for seven months, get checked your hormonal profile. Mojisla, YouTube. No period for seven months, go and check your FSH. Check your LH hormone. Check your progesterone. Check your estradiol. Check your prolactin level. All right? I, I, I can't answer every question technically. Trust me, I can't because we have three platforms YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or at the same time. I can only pick quickly. I can only read not everything. I can read as much as I can and then I'll answer what I can. You're 30 weeks pregnant, you have an hemorrhoid. You should take some stool softness like lactulose, glycerin suppository, and drink lots of water because pregnancy can make you constipated. Okay, now if you're not drinking lots of water, you're not taking lactulose, if you're constipated, you can make things worse. So drink lots of water, at least 3.5 liters of water every 24 hours. When I was in Lagos, Lagos is so hot. Imagine what it would happen in other parts of Lagos, Nigeria. Kano, Kaduna, Ilongi, they'll be smoking heat. So Lagos is hot already, you should be drinking 3.5 liters of pure clear water every 24 hours. And if you're still constipated, then take and use lactulose or Glycerin suppository. Salia Omar, I will thank you so much. If any while, do see. Mdu H.A., thank you so much. What can you use to boost your blood in pregnancy? If you got low blood level, which is very common amongst Nigerians, amongst people in West Africa, you got low blood count in pregnancy, you should be on iron supplement if possible or through pregnancy. But the thing is that iron supplement will make you constipated, so you need to drink lots of water as well. Iron supplements can make you constipated, so drink lots of water as well. Faith Abdullahi, what's your question? Ade Wusi, Ayomiko, thank you so much. Okay, what leads? Thank you. Is stereoscopy can check tubes? No. Is stereoscopy to check your womb cavity? Is stereoscopy can check your tubes? But is stereoscopy is simply to check your womb cavity? Is stereoscopy probably can check your tubes? But yeah, is stereoscopy to check your womb cavity? Okay. Abdullahi, what's your question? Fair words or somia? Pain during period of relation. Can it become infection? Very unlikely. Okay. Are there any supplements to take to kiss you? If you're not pregnant, we need to know why you're not getting pregnant. Okay. It's not about taking supplements to get pregnant. If you're not pregnant and you're still ovulating, we need to know why you're not pregnant. It's not about taking supplements. Okay. But if you've got no problems, then take your pregnant care. But if you're not getting pregnant, you've been trying to get pregnant for more than two years or more than a year, you're having regular sex, no pregnancy. Start getting all your tests done to know why you're not getting pregnant. It's not about supplements. I want to take this and that. No. Know why. So that you know what to take and what to be done. Because your friend did this to get pregnant doesn't mean that that's what you need to. You are totally different. What your friend need, needed to do to get pregnant is different from what you should do. It depends on what your circumstances is. It depends what your personal issues are. You had fibro last, last year, you're not pregnant yet, no problem. But the most important thing is, are you having a regular period? If you have a regular period, that's what you need. If you have a regular period, 
and you have regular sex. Your husband's spell count good. Are your tubes not blocked? Are your tubes blocked? Let's check them. Okay? Good. And if you want to know how HS injection works after clomid, come to our IVF seminar this month end, April 2. We'll talk about IVF. How HS HCG injection works with clomid. Come and join us. Okay? That's a topic for another day. It's not this topic tonight. Okay? Progesterone is low. Take your progesterone supplementation, okay, to boost your progesterone. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today. I have to go take some some rest now. I was hoping to see you tomorrow as well again. God bless you. Love you so much. Bye-bye.